Hello everyone and welcome back to X-Plane 11 where I'm going to try out the Zeebo 737-800 and try to take off in it from a cold and dark start as you can see. And this is the first time I'm going to have ever tried to take off in an airliner from a cold and dark start. And that's after 25 years of playing flight simulators. I just, just like to have some fun and I always start with the engines running and so this is a new experience. and. Partly, I decided to uh, try it out because I was charmed by this particular freeware aircraft. It's uh, very good quality. Of course, the Zeebo uh, mod is actually a modification on the default 737 in X-Plane 11. And uh, it does a good job of bringing out the charm of this particular airliner. So, I'm going to try it like this. And I did do a sort of a dry run checking out whether I knew where things were, and the short answer is not everything. Actually, there, there were some things I just couldn't find, so we'll see <laughs> if it's going to work without them. Uh, so first of all, uh, parking brake set. Okay. Oh. It looks like uh, we're going to take on passengers. I was wondering what that sound was. And that's apparently what the sound is. Okay. Well, alright then. Uh, the gate has met us. So, with that there, landing gear, check down, yes. Speed brake, down. Okay, that's down enough. Alright then. Mm, don't move anymore. Okay, flaps up. Battery. Okay, battery on. Alright, standby power. Oh, that's right, actually, it's on auto. Generator, drive, disconnect, guard. I guess that's what they mean. I don't know if they want... I think the guard should be closed. Bus transfer auto. It is on auto. Ground power uh, on. Okay. Now this one I don't know. IRS mode selectors. I see an IRS here, but it says IRS mode selectors nav. And that is not an option right there. So yeah, I don't know where that particular control is. Flight control switches, they're closed. Spoiler switches closed. Yaw damper is supposed to be on, but I don't seem to be able to turn it on. Okay. Alternate flaps master switch, guard closed. And alternate flaps position off. That's off. VHF nav transfer normal, that's fine. IRS transfer normal, yes. FMC normal. Display source auto. Display controls panel normal. Okay, fuel panel. And I think I'm going to. Wait, oh, nope, it's right here. Cross feed selector closed, that's that direction. Fuel pumps all off, very good. Okay, radio panel. Well, I think we are going to just use this and file a flight plan at this point. And we are going to go to Los Angeles from Sacramento is our flight plan at 30,000 feet. And I do have um, en route Points, FRA and REBRG. Okay, -E we're going to request altimeter. I should probably figure out how to set my altimeter once they tell me. Zulu, Bravo, 738 Kilo, Sierra, Mike, Foxtrot, altimeter 3019. 3019. Okay, we'll hold off on requesting clearance cabin utility power switch here and that should be on IFE passenger seat power switch on 
or pass seat. Um, o OVHT detector switches. Oh, wait. There's the IRS. We were supposed to set that to nav. There we go. All good. And actually, this should be on battery. This should be on AP uh, ground power right now. Not APU gen yet. Overheat detector switch is normal. Test switch hold to fault. Okay. And to overheat fire. APU start. APU generators. Um, let me just make sure. Yes. Okay. Well, that's interesting. We want to switch to APU generator power. Uh, did I do something wrong or are we good? Well, it's reading something here. Uh, I don't like that battery discharge. Ground power disconnect. Okay. APU gen off bus. Should be on it. Let's see. Okay. I think I flicked one too many switches, but maybe we're okay right now. Let me just proceed. Okay, close that. Equipment su cooling supply, that's there. It is on normal, exhaust on normal, emergency exit lights armed. I think that's armed and closed. Seatbelt sign on. No smoking. Windshield wipers are on part. Window heat overhead. On, 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 on. Oh, it should be, uh, I think that was supposed to be just a power test. Um, looks good to me. Probe heat switches on. Wing anti-ice switch. Oh, sorry. That, those were supposed to be off. <laughs> um, wing anti-ice switch off. Engine anti-ice off. Engine hydraulic pumps on. Uh, these are the pumps. They do seem to be on. Electrolic, uh, electronic hydraulic pumps off. Air conditioning pack switches auto. I believe they are all on auto. Recirculating fans are on auto. Isolation valve open. Yeah, those are on auto. Engine bleed switches on. APU bleed on. November zero two X ray pop up. Flight altitude will be Juliet Charlie at file. Maintain thirty three thousand feet. This is the pressurization system. Kilo, Sierra, Juliet, Charlie, add files. Maintain 7,000. Squawk 4703. November 02. Landing Edward, altitude Papa. will be roughly zero at LAX. Pressurization selector is on auto. Auto brake selector I do not see. Stall warn. Okay, master lights. I think that's all up here. Stall warning test switch one and two. Push. Okay. Passenger oxygen. Um, well, uh, maybe I shouldn't have flicked it. Engine start switches auto. They are. Power levels idle. They are. Engine start levers cut off. CDU display set. I don't know what the CDU display is. MCP panel, auto throttle arm. Well, that doesn't help. 
Exterior doors are closed, and now it is time to gain clearance, pressing enter. Zulu, Bravo, seven. Okay, obtain clearance. Now, fuel panel, fuel pumps, left and right on. Okay, good. Um, I don't know if we have any fuel in the center, actually. Let's see. I don't think so. Everything's in the wing. Okay. Electrolic, uh, uh, electron, electric hydraulic pumps on. Anti-collision lights on. Trim set. Looks trimmed for takeoff. Okay, air conditioning packs off. We're going through engine start. Pack left, pack right, off. Engine one, start switch, ground. Oh, I shouldn't have done both at the same time, sorry. Ground. Okay, and then we wait for N2 to reach 25%. And then we'll set this to idle. Okay. And that apparently has led the jetway to retract. Okay. I'm actually behind my seat right now. I forget what it is to move forward and back in this. I'll just go outside and reset my camera later. Okay, that's good. Uh, engine 2. Set that on ground. And that can be set to idle. Alright. And that start valve open should say, should go away. And indeed we don't have any fuel in the center. Engine 1 and 2 generators on. Okay, and with that we switch this to Gen 1. I believe so. Okay, that looks fine. Probe heat switches on. Anti-ice probe November, heat switches zero, on. Anti-ice, sure, why not? Air conditioning left. packs back to runway auto. Three, four, Isolation back to four, auto. APU bleed switch. Off. APU switch off. Engine start switches can't. Flaps. Well, at this point we need to push back, don't we? Well, I, I guess we can set the flaps. Let's set them there. Alright, now we can pop outside to reset the camera and also simultaneously do control check. Okay, control check is good. Okay, here we go. Parking brake break release. Um, okay, that should be released. Shift G to get pushed back, straight back. Wheel chocks are off. Here we go. They haven't really told us. Ooh, that that truck is gonna go right through us. Okay, safe travels. Hmm. I should have had it push back around. Now I can't do it anymore. But maybe. Oh, maybe it'll work. Engine start point. Well, we we did it ahead of time. Okay, well, all right, that, that, that's fine, that's fine. We'll take it from here. 
This does they not uh, interested in us, are they? Attitude indicator does not seem to be showing what I need to know. That's probably wrong, isn't it? I got the little guy over here, but this is mysteriously not functional. Okay, so what have I done wrong that I don't have the right display panel right now? Control panel is normal, it says. Displays auto. I pressed B. Okay. Maybe, maybe not? I mean, okay, I think it's stopping. Alright, so the question is, ooh, I see another plane taking off. I'm clearly in the wrong direction on this runway. That's fine. Um, you know, uh, well, okay, but I don't know what he's doing, actually. Maybe I'm not in the wrong direction. I think it's safe to say that that plane is doing the wrong thing. Well, I can just proceed with the rest of the procedure and hope it'll fix itself. I can certainly fly it without the information. Okay, well, I'm just gonna proceed. Runway heading is 160. Flight director is on. Okay, we may proceed. go. Well, at least the display is giving me numbers. I have the backup uh, horizon there. And we're off. Alright, well, there's some things that have gone wrong here, and if you could inform me why they have gone wrong, that'd be interesting to me. But otherwise, we have taken off, I managed to start the plane somehow, and let's take a look at her outside. Currently headed south. And that is the correct direction to be headed. Well, I'm guessing air traffic control isn't going to give me much guidance, so I better pay some attention here and do what I need to do. There's LAX, so we're already pretty close. Let's get started on descent, and we'll probably have to double back. Well, I see some runway lights. We're at 3,000 feet, 225 knots. Okay, right on track, but I'm gonna disable autopilot, so that's gonna be fun. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. 
This is how it looks from outside right now. Not bad. But I better get back inside. We don't even seem to be lined up properly right now. I think I misjudged where the center of the window was. Oops. I've put the scenery settings on high, so the low frame rates, that's to be expected. I, I really pumped it up for this. Yeah, looks like I should probably tune down the visual settings. Yep, it's telling me that. It's telling me, no, the render settings are too high. I think I've got maximum on the world objects right now too. But you can see the little cars on the freeway. Not really a freeway, I hope. The uh, road there. Two hundred. There ought to be a setting like uh, if the frame rate is too low, just take away the render settings. You know, diminish up diminish the objects or something. Ooh, it's just rendered a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, it's a little bit smoother now, though. I think it was just trying to load all the aircraft at LAX. Yeah, it's much smoother now. Yeah, I know. That's the whole point. Minimums. Ooh. I probably did one of my skip landings again. Okay, brakes, please. Okay. We will exit next taxiway. Okay, well, back in the cockpit, I need to set APU to start, it says. Okay, probe heat switches off. Okay, well I have to make this turn though. Not sure which line is mine. But I'll go with that one. Alright, we have parked. Let's uh, shut the thing down. Parking brake set. APU generators on. Uh, I think that was the wrong way. Okay. APU generators are on. Engine start levers cut off. Okay, seatbelt sign off. Anti-collision lights off. Fuel pumps off. Cab utility power switch is off, which is there, there, off, off. We should probably go to APU gen here. Anti ice off, wing anti ice off, hydraulic pump electrics off. Oh, not the engine. Okay, yaw damper off. The fan switches off. Air conditioning pack switches auto. Uh, I think they are on auto. Isolation switch open. Engine bleed switches are on. 
if you bleed on taxi lights off no off okay there we go position light off flight director I already turned off APU start off okay well in any case window heat off 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 air conditioning packs off APU generators off nope standby powers uh... well these should be set to standby power now And standby power switch. No. Off. And finally, battery off. All right. So in theory, it's all off. <laughs> and we have gone to a cold, dark state again. Oh, I'm sort of behind the seat. All right. And indeed, that's what it looks like. Uh, had a little bit of a mishap. Obviously, I did something wrong so that our displays weren't operating properly. But we made it to LAX anyway. And next time, I'll know to reduce the scenery settings so that there isn't so much lag on landing. But anyway, here we are. And uh, that's it. My first attempt at uh, a full flight in as as legit a capacity as possible. Alright, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.